Do you know who I am? She doesn't know who I am. I'm Chris Steele. Hi, I'm Chris Steele. Welcome back to RV Life. I'm your host, Chris Steele. Aggravation and satisfaction in me. A little more by a little less. Okay, let's be honest. You've thought about it. Selling everything, buying a home on wheels, and just hitting the open road. Well, on today's show, we're going to talk to some folks who have done just that. And when you see how luxurious today's RVs have become, you may not be far behind. You know, when I said I wanted my own room, this isn't what I had in mind. That does it for this week's edition of RV Life. Until next time, we'll see you down the road. We're here for Menopause the Musical. We're going to talk to some of the stars, kind of go behind the scenes and just see what it's all about. Come on, let's check it out. Hi, how are you? I'm wonderful. You, you're not hot? You're not having any hot flashes or anything? I'm having a hot flash. Can you sing something else for us? Nothing I can do because it sticks like glue to my side. <laughs> She was a natural. We're going to go ahead and head out and see who was out and about yesterday. Writer, director, producer, actor. What was that like wearing all those hats? Writer, director, producer, actor. It was really fun. We watch celebrities, you know, from the outside. What do you think is the biggest misconception? Well, you know, it looks, appears you've got fame, fortune, happiness. What's the biggest misconception? That celebrity is a profession. You once said that celebrity was this weird appendage that uh, was pretty much useless if you didn't do something with it. What did you mean by that? Sundance 09 was a lot of fun. We came to see some films and, uh -huh. uh, you know, most of the people that came, thousands of people came, they didn't come so much to see the films, which was a good thing because there wasn't a lot of good ones. Yeah. They came to see the stars. I am here with a man who needs no introduction, Stanley Please. Tucci. No, that, uh, I'm having such a good time talking to you. How are you doing this morning? Uh, very well. Thank you very much. I don't know what to talk about. You want to talk about skiing? You want to talk about <laughs> one of your many films? I, I like to talk about skiing most of all. <laughs> You were not the winner of American Idol, but you won the hearts of America. What do you, I mean, you're, you're just turned 18, you've accomplished so much. What, where do you go from here? Well, from here, we're actually going to be starting my own tour. So, it, you know, it was great to do the American Idol tour, and it was so exciting because it was like an arena tour. Welcome to Bottom Line Super Bowl Edition. Wayne and I are here in Tampa Bay, Florida for Super Bowl 43. And let me tell you something, it is a party, and it's a Pittsburgh party. You can't talk about the Pittsburgh Steelers without talking about the great Rocky Blyer. Rocky, good to see you today. Welcome to South Beach in magnificent Miami, Florida. What better place than this sun-drenched paradise to introduce you to Bella Soleil Sunwear? Hi, I'm Chris Steele, and you have to admit, homes with a celebrity connection have a special place on the real estate market. Realtors claim that a condo or a house owned by a star not only ups the interest value, but also the price. Welcome back to Kid Trends. I'm here with Keegan. You're in the military, huh? Yes. Do you, do you have a um, title or anything in the Marines? Um, uh, Head Army. Head Army? I've never heard of that one before. Head Army in the Marines. That's good. What does that mean? What do you What do? You, do? you sound confused. <laughs> you said that you were homeschooled? What is that? How does that work? So your mom's your teacher? Yes. Is she a very good teacher? Yes. Is she around here? Is that why you're saying that? <laughs> Until next time, we'll see you down the road. A little less conversation, a little more action, please. All this aggravation ain't satisfaction in me. A little more bite, a little less bark, a little less fight, a little more.